Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Barber223 and here we are again with some new world content and today I hope you all are doing well. And what are we going to do? Well, we're going to go over how you can become a monster with a life staff. Not only are you going to be able to heal with this trick, but you're also going to be able to do damage and help your team out in a number of ways. So let's just get into it. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And the question is, how can you make your life staff build, do damage, and heal? Let's do it. So, we may be wondering, what exactly is the life staff? Well, in New World, the life staff is really the only healing weapon in the entire game. The, build, the weapon is based on healing. It is used to heal your teammates, buff your teammates, and protect allies and shield them from damage and PvE content and also PvP content. Again, it is the only weapon in the game that is really geared to completely heal people. It is very good. Um, it's a good weapon, and it offers a lot. Um, it offers two trees, <clears throat> the first tree being the healing tree. In this tree, it's going to offer you three abilities. It is mainly used, this is the tree where you get most of your healing from, and it is going to be three skills that are Divine Embrace, which heals targets for 150% weapon damage, Sacred Ground, that heals teammates on the ground for 20% weapon damage every second, and then lastly, Splash of Light, that heals all allies within 100 meters for 50% weapon damage. So... That is the healing tree. What is the protector tree? That is the second tree that Life Staff offers. So, the protector tree is the tree that provides most of your buffs to your teammates, whether it be damage mitigation or different type of buffs. So the three skills that this tree offers is Orb of Protection, that shoots out the projectile that gives teammates Fortify. Um, they also offer Light's Embrace that heals teammates for 100% weapon damage and 30% extra more for each buff that the target has. Lastly, it offers Beacon. It's a projectile that sticks to your teammate. It sticks to whatever surface it hits, and it heals for 20% weapon damage. So, those are the skills that Life Staff offers. Now, the question is... What do you want to spec with? Well, it's really up to you. I think every skill in the life staff is probably pretty good. Okay. But the thing that people don't realize with the life staff is that although you're usually um, specking for full focus, that is going to boost your healing. There are a lot of things, um, really one thing that most players don't realize about what you can do with your gear to make your life staff build not only be valuable in healing but also valuable in doing damage and providing a lot of team utility so what exactly does it do so guys basically before we get into exactly explaining in detail what is going to happen with your build to make it very good I must explain what are cut gems in New World Okay, cut gems are something you can use that certain pieces of armor and weapons have um, that you can slot in a gem. Okay, um, you must have blue or higher gear to slot a gem. But basically what a gem does is it's going to give you a weapon bonus or a armor bonus depending on what you put it on. And basically it's going to give you a certain bonus, whether that bonus be for damage, um, tankiness, healing, this, that, and the other, right? There's a bunch of different gems in the game. Now, basically, it's going to help you build tremendously. It's going to make your build very, very good, okay? It ranges, the, these gems range from a different a variety of different things, and there's many ways you can find them. They're cut gems, right? They can be obtained through mining. They can be obtained through trading posts. They can be obtained through your friends that want to trade them to you. If you find an uncut gem in dungeons, you loot them. There's a bunch of ways to get them. Okay, guys? So if you need more additional information, be free to Google it because it is there. So basically, you're going to want cut gems, okay? They essentially are going to bring your life staff build from one level to the next. Okay, guys? Now, let me explain more. What exactly, what exact kind of gem do we want? So the question comes into play now that we know about gems and what they are exactly. What gem do we want that is going to bring our life staff build to the next level? What we want to use, guys, is the Cut Amber Gem. What is the Cut Amber Gem? Well, it is one of the gems that you can get in the game. It is yellow, 
and it's called a cut amber gem. So it comes in four tiers, of course. It comes in white. 20% of your damage is transferred to nature. What does that mean? Well, nature damage is scaled off of focus. This is where we get the most important aspect of our build. So basically, if you're using a life staff on your front bar as your main uh, weapon, and you want to use, say, a great axe on your back bar, and you wonder, well, I can't do a lot of damage with my great axe because I have a lot of focus and constitution, and I can't invest into strength. Well, this amber gem is going to fix that issue for you. So these amber gems come in 20%, they come in 30%, they come in 40%, and they come in 50%. So all these percentages transfer that amount into nature damage, which scales off of focus. So that is going to boost your ability to have a back bar weapon without putting attribute points into it. So basically, this gem can make you a hybrid monster. You can use a life staff, heal yourself, and also do damage with a weapon that you don't even spec into. That is why it is so, 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 so good. So no matter what weapon you use, you can use a life staff on the front bar and still be solid. Now, why is this exactly so valuable in PvP? Well, let's get into it. So, guys... The reason this is so valuable in PvP is because, number one, in PvE, as a healer, your job is to keep your team alive, which is easy to do. No problem, right? You put your heals down, you make sure you don't let anyone die. Yeah, simple. Or it's easier said than done, but you get the point. So basically, in PvE, you're going to be doing healing. But if you have a, let's say, I'll use a great act as another example, on your back bar, you have your uh, cut flawed amber gem on your great axe. You can also help out the team with excelling your DPS. You can do DPS to bosses. You can do DPS to mobs and help with a lot of crowd control. Very, very good. So basically, in PvE, it's going to help your team out a lot. You'll be able to do more than one thing. Now, a lot of you guys like to play PvP, so let's say that too. In PvP, when people see a life staff, the first thing they think is that they're weak and they can't do any damage. So they go right after you, right? That's usually what happens. I know that from my own experience. You see a life staff and you see that's fresh meat to go after. You're going to attack him and think he can't fight back. But you're going to be wrong when you do this build. This build can stand their ground, put their heels on the ground, stay alive, and absolutely clap people that push up them. It's really, really good. You can stand your ground, you can catch people off guard, because your damage is very nice. It's going to be solid. Of course your damage won't be as strong as if you fully spec into your weapon, but your heals are going to be so good that you're going to prolong fights and keep yourself alive and outlast people for your team. You'll stay alive, you'll keep your team alive, and uh, you know contribute a significant amount of damage to people. It's very, very good, guys. Also, the most important part of this is that not only is it going to help you out a lot with your damage, but it's going to make your build very versatile. And the reason I say versatile is because you know how, in terms of New World, making a build, your weapons need to be smartly, um, you know, based on one another in terms of attribute points. You don't want to use two weapons that completely scale off different things and make it almost impossible to scale them, right? Well, with the life staff, we're lucky enough to have a gem that is going to make you not have to scale into two different attribute trees. So you're able to use any weapon you want on the back, guys. Any weapon you want. You can use a spear, you can use a great axe, you can use a warhammer, a rapier, anything you want. A one-handed shield, anything you want. Even a fire staff. So you can use any weapon you want on the back bar. And that makes the build amazing because you have so many different choices the only constant is life staff so that brings the question though with this versatility comes the question what is the best weapon to pair with it so what is the best weapon to pair with the life staff hybrid build well guys basically i'll be honest you can use whatever you want but in terms of what is the best personally to describe the weapon that I would use, you need a well-rounded weapon that can do it all, right? And there's only a few in the game. You need a weapon that can provide a little bit of crowd control, considering that your life staff can't give that for you. You need a weapon that's going to apply a lot of dot pressure, because, again, 
you're not going to be super bursty, but you're going to be able to outlast people. So having bleed or flame or some kind of damage over time effect is going to be very valuable for you. And it need a weapon that's going to apply some team utility, whether it be, you know, crowd control, damage, or buffs. Um, because life staff, again, can't provide you with a CC or something like that, right? So personally, I think the best weapons that you could use, I'll rank them is going to be probably Great Axe, number one, Warhammer, number two, Spear, number three, and One Hand and Shield, number four, because they all offer a lot of crowd control and team utility. Great Axe, as you know, has gravity well. Warhammer, as a lot of you know, has a lot of crowd control that many weapons don't. The Spear has a lot of crowd control and also applies bleed damage, which is very good. It covers two categories. One hand and shield applies a lot of CC. It applies a lot of health. It applies a lot of buffs to your team. Helps out a lot. So, these four weapons, in my opinion, are the best to use. Again, those are Great Axe, Warhammer, Spear, and One Hand and Shield. Next, I would say this as a tip. Your, um, your mindset needs to be healing first, damage second. At the end of the day, you are still a healer, okay? You still need to heal. So make sure your heals are up. Make sure you're buffing your team. Make sure you're buffing yourself. But do not forget that if somebody gets up in your cookies, you can clap them, right? So don't worry about that. You're going to be able to do what you need to do and still kill people. So... I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you. I hope you learned something. Please, 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 please leave your feedback, questions, concerns, your likes, your dislikes down below. Let me know what you think. And as always, if this video gave you any ounce of knowledge or help, please leave a comment, a like, or a subscribe, or even all three, guys. I really appreciate it, and I'm looking forward to playing New World a lot more. So have a good one, guys, and I'll be back again soon.